Then the surf culture took over, the beach craze, the beach boys, the surf music and all that. And suddenly a beach became more of a thing. We had the cruisers on Beach Street. The beach itself, the boardwalk itself, more vitality to it. Surfing then was, was really strong because it came out of the Gidget era and, you know, in the late 50s and people from the Midwest, you know, they're still thinking of California surf craze. So when those people came here, they wanted to take surf lessons. Cal's Beach is one of the best beginning beaches to surf anywhere. It has better waves than Waikiki most of the time. Surfing in Santa Cruz actually dates back to the 1800s and gains momentum in the mid-30s when a group of local teenagers learned the basics of board building and surfing. It's also during the 30s that Duke Kahanamoku, the father of modern surfing, used his fame to promote surfing throughout the U.S. and performed at the plunge. The first surfing started in the 1800s with uh, Prince David, and that was right there at Rivermouth. I grew up on Cal's Beach here, and then surfed there, then body surfed there at Rivermouth. Rivermouth, during the 50s and 60s, were all the heavies. You know, you, you had the, the big boys. I was just the Grom, and so in order to get into that pecking order, you know, they were like, kid, you don't belong out here, okay? So on the really small days, I would surf right off that point, going right up the river with my board. You could go right up the river and surf. And it was, it was never crowded there. You would just free fall into like 10 or 12 feet of water off these huge waves. It was so much fun. You'd go underwater for a while and it, it'd wash you around and it was sweet. <laughs> 